Good evening from the SBC Newsroom, the news for this Wednesday, 28th of June. Five MOUs and one agreement have been signed at State House today during the first day of the state visit of the President of Rwanda, Paul Kagame. These uh, MOUs and agreement uh, cover various fields such as law enforcement, agriculture and health and are expected to strengthen ties between Seychelles and Rwanda. President Paul Kagame has spoken of the common aspirations between Seychelles and Rwanda to improve the quality of lives of their citizens. President Kagame, who is on his first state visit to Seychelles, received a 21-gun salute when he arrived at State House for bilateral discussions with President Ramkalawan. Two school children presented him and his spouse with a bouquet of flowers. After inspecting the Guard of Honor, President Kagame had a tete-a-tete -tete with President Ramkalawan and then the two leaders met for bilateral discussions. This meeting was attended by the delegation accompanying President Kagame on this visit and the Seychelles Cabinet of Ministers. This was followed by the signing of five MOUs in fields such as health and agriculture and one visa waiver agreement. In the press statement which the two leaders gave, after the signing of the MOUs, President Ramkalawan spoke of the enduring friendship between Seychelles and Rwanda. You are an example to the whole world that Africa indeed has great leaders. We realize that uh, in the field of agriculture, Rwanda again is showing leadership, uh, leadership on the African continent and uh, small Seychelles would like to tap into the experience. President Kagame spoke of the need to broaden cooperation in various strategic sectors Tourism is a key driver of economic growth. Collectively, there is a lot we can do to make the sector more sustainable and resilient. Tourism creates enormous opportunities for air connectivity, and commercial links, bringing businesses from Seychelles and Rwanda closer together. President Kagame is in Seychelles as the guest of Thank honor you, for the 47th anniversary of the National Day. President Kagame says his visit here opens a new chapter in the partnership between Rwanda and Seychelles. He made the statement whilst addressing an extraordinary session of the National Assembly this afternoon. He adds that celebrations of independence are a moment to remember the sacrifices made to forge a nation. President Kagame says Rwanda is committed to supporting small island developing states being impacted by climate change. Today, with the highest GDP per capita in Africa, Seychelles is making good progress on the road towards sustainable development. In tourism, education, and environmental conservation, Seychelles leads by example. Learning from the past to build a better future without relying on external assistance alone is something that resonates strongly with Rwandans. Seychelles and Rwanda are the first two countries on the continent to access the International Monetary Fund's Resilience and Sustainability Trust. As chair in office of the Commonwealth, Rwanda is committed to supporting small island developing states who are disproportionately impacted by climate change. 
The First Lady of Rwanda, Jeanette Kagame, met with the First Lady Linda Ramkalawan in a tete-a-tete -tete at the family house at Bello this morning. The Minister for Youth, Sports and Family Affairs was also present at the brief meeting. After the tete-a-tete, -tete, the two First Ladies spent a short while enjoying a performance of traditional dances by four adults and following that uh, they planted two uh, latonier aubans which are palms endemic to Seychelles. In its uh, message on the 47th anniversary of independence, the Lignon Democratique Cécile Party LDS uh, says this is an occasion to reflect on how to turn Seychelles into a better place. It says that as a young and free nation, Seychelles has made some gains uh, but it has also made false moves. With a new government, LDS says, the country has been presented with an opportunity to start again and avoid repeating past mistakes. It adds that as a party of uh, government, it is determined to lead Seychelles to become a nation of hard-working people who obey the law, who are proud of their culture and identity, and who believe in democracy. And uh, in his message, the leader of the United Seychelles, Dr. Patrick Amini, says Independence Day is the ideal time to remember and pay tribute to former leaders Albert René and James Mancam. He says the Seychelles flag is flying freely and proudly because of those past leaders. Dr. Amini's uh, message also pledges that Seychelles will preserve its independence in the fact of all uh, external factors and will continue to move forward on people's successes of the achievement uh, of its people. And a reminder that President Wavell Ramkalawan's message on the occasion of Independence Day will be broadcast tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. on SBC One, Radio Sicile and Paradise FM. President Ramkalawan has unveiled the commemorative plaque of the Lago Dam which officially marks the end of the project by the Sino-Hydro contractors to raise the dam structures by 6 meters and in doing in, uh, increase its holding capacity by 60%. The ceremony was done on site and also present with the Vice President Ahmed Afif, the Chinese uh, Charge d'Affaires, the designated minister, other ministers, board members and personnel of the PUC. In his address for the occasion, designated minister Jean-François Ferrari said that the project was worth the investment of 399 million rupees. Progress to build significant storage capacities in the likes of Lagok Dam has been slow, and if I may say, too slow, mainly due to our limited financial resources to meet those very high investment costs. If, however, we are to increase our resilience to the ever-increasing challenges of droughts, we have no choice but to give particular attention to the investment required in storage infrastructures such as this one and the likes of other dam projects in the southern part of Mahé and of Prale. Starting from the 1st of July, the Sir Selwyn Selwyn Clark Market will be equipped with 17 new ice boxes that fishermen will use to store fish overnight. This is part of the work that the Department of Agriculture is doing to improve hygiene in the market. The ice boxes are a donation from the Seychelles Fishing Authority to help with the proper storing of fish. The market manager, Vincent Germain, said that the ice boxes will help the market with its storing of fish issues since this was one of the recommendations made by the public health services after their visits earlier this year. And with this, uh, we end uh, this uh, news uh, summary. We'll be back uh, with the news in Creole at uh, 8 uh, p.m. Have a very pleasant evening.